All right, good evening, everyone. We got a new tomb here. She had a good day. She's been having a lot of fun. I didn't have the camera with me earlier, but she made it about halfway up the teeter-totter, and then when it started going over and exchanging the weight, uh, it startled her, and she jumped off. But that is progress, because if you saw the first video, uh, she literally wouldn't even want to take a, a step on there. So it was cool to see. So we're going to see what she can do here. Eta Nutum. Always good to check out her standards. Name in Nutum. You Zagutahun. You still got cheese on your face, baby girl. Ah, Sitzerites Nutum. Er. Good. I got your favorite toy, Nutum. Oh, she sees it. She's already getting excited. Suk Nutum. Suk! He has a good suk! Ah, name and baby girl's name and. Alright, ready, new tomb? New tomb? Suk! So our throws are getting a little farther with it. <laughs> Good to new tomb, good to baby girls. <laughs> it's a good to who new tomb, good to who new tomb, new tomb. We had a little tug of war earlier. She was gonna have fun. And all right, guys, we're gonna try something new here. Instead of throwing into some open grass, I'm gonna throw it into some thick grass. New tomb, Sook. It's not too far in there, but let's see if her. All right. She was able to get it no problem. And from what I was doing in the research, throwing it out of her sight there, it will encourage her to start using her nose to find things. Zerguta new tomb. Zerguta. Alright, new tomb. Let's see if you can do just as good as you did yesterday, baby girls. New tomb. Blab. So we'll see. Uh, she set a bar yesterday on her stay. She was up to a minute and a half. See if we can do it similar but at a farther distance this evening. I'm not going to try to push it too much farther. Maybe if I can add a, a few seconds to it, but I pushed it about another 15 seconds yesterday and that was really good. So she's at 35 seconds right now and she's still letting me walk around so that's good she's staying attentive she's keeping her eyes on me now when I go on this side let's see if she flips sides but still stays in position she's got her head turned these are all good qualities that I'd like to see uh oh new tomb uh oh new tomb new tomb and new tomb All right, she got distracted. She saw something and went after it. But it's all right. It's all part of the training. We got to make sure she can stay without distractions. Hit a new tomb. All right, we'll attempt this again. Plots. Good. Bribe new tomb. But we do enjoy seeing her, you know, keep her head going, keeping around, keeping her ears going. The attentiveness is definitely one of the things we're looking for. She's sniffing the ground there. She found something. But these are all qualities we're looking for. We're going to keep on bringing out all of the drives that are naturally occurring in canines. You know, we got their pack drive, their hunt drive, their prey drive. They like to play, their bring drive. And from the book I'm reading, this is basically called their drive complex. And you're going to use multiple of these drives together to basically create their behaviors for search and rescue. So 
So she's just staring at me. She's got her ears out. Like I said, she's done a really, really good job. She's learning every day and progressing here and there. You know, some things we need to work on. Uh, I also got to work on her uh, her heel a little bit better. But in the training earlier today, she did a real good job healing. She almost stayed by my side, I'd say a good 90% of the time. So that was really nice and pleasant to see. And like I said, also on the teeter-totter, she made some progress. So that, that was good to see. And she absolutely loves the sock toy. Actually, that's how she woke me up today. Was uh, It wasn't a sock toy, but she brought uh, one of my socks to me and was just like, hey, let's play. So, I actually kind of lost track on this. I'll have to go back and see. I know we're at a solid minute right now. Let's see if I can bring it out another 25 seconds. And that will hit at least a minute 30 mark. But she might set a new bar right here, which is always good to see when she can set a new bar. All right, eight seconds and it will be there. Good, a new tomb, good, a blive new tomb name, baby, because you get some extras for that one. Name a new tomb. Good, uh, good, a uh, new tomb. New tomb. Blib. All right, let's do the distance thing and have her call. She's starting to learn these pretty well. I may be able to get a uh, another command going up next. I think one of the next ones I want to work on is, uh, I think the send away would be fairly interesting. Uh, most likely, the, probably the smartest thing to do is go and check the book that I'm reading on and uh, see what they recommend over there. Ooh. Might, might not be the best idea to go barefoot on, on this part over here. They just uh, did some brush hogging and there's some, man, there's some grass with some thorns in it. So I'm actually going to get out of this. And we'll walk the other way. Save my feet here. They're fairly tough, but there was some actually pretty thick, pretty thick pokey things down there, so we'll avoid them at the moment. in the tomb all right guys but she's doing good she's made great progress with her training and we're going to keep working with her and we'll see what she can finally go ahead and do like i said the goal is to get her a certified search and rescue dog so she can help out the local community that i'm in and be an official member of a of a sar team so everyone have a pleasant evening and we're going to continue a little more training.